Problems on the line for Morrow and Arifan, but the light sequence is already underway and they're off. So the French duo really losing out from the outside of the third row, down from sixth to about tenth. Schlosser and Fries already starting to make the expected progress from eighth on the grid, sixth at turn one, getting past Leglise and Clement. But it's as you were at the front, Pivrins and Vera Vinen making the fastest start, but trapped back in third as Reeves and Wilkes look to the inside for the lead into turn three. Both caught offline and the flying Finns come through. Pivarinta and Vera Vinen from nowhere, taking advantage of a bit of argy-bargy between the British duos. Can Reeves and Wilkes now settle back down in the vein slang to challenge for the lead? Tom Birchall furious with the number 77 outfit, waving his fist as the new top two dice it out on the back straight. Schlosser and Fries closing in to challenge for fifth, side by side for tenth place, Mara and Arifon recovering, but Reeves and Wilkes have picked it up. Three different leaders already on lap one, but it's the men at the top of the championship who have hit the front in determined style. No doubt about it, the title favourites touched around the northern loop and that allowed Pivrins and Vera Vina to come through. The Finns now running second. Still Schlosser and Fries bearing down on Sam and Adam Christie for fifth. The Swiss duo fastest overall in a wet Q1. But in dry conditions, couldn't get a decent run in the second session and are now forced to battle their way through. The lead trio already stretching away from home hero Benny Stroyer and his partner Kevin Russo. Their fight realistically for fourth, but the top three as close as you like in the final sector of this opening lap. Will anyone make a move in front of the pack grandstand at the Geert Timmer chicane? Piverin and Vera Vinen cut to the inside. Brilliant! An outstanding move from four-time world champion Pekka Piverin to recover first place. Both outfits behind into the slipstream as they head back to turn one for the second time. Schlosser and Fries have now made it past Sam and Adam Christie, but are a second back from Stroyer and Russo in the race for fourth. Benenson Birchall fainting to the inside there at the start of lap two, but not quite close enough. They'll be desperately keen to pass Reeves and Wilkes before they make a real attack on Piverinter and Vera Vinen. They won't want an outfit between them and their main rivals. The vein slang, the next real overtaking opportunity set up through Destrubben. A three outfit fight for fifth place as well. Leglise and Clement bringing themselves back into contention. Moreau and Arifon back up to eighth. Piverinter and Vera Vinen got great drive off turn five and they look safe this time around. It's Ben and Tom Birchill getting a nice double toe side by side through turn six. The Birchill's on the outside for seven. A robust defence from Reeves and Wilkes. And all the while, these two fighting it out is giving Piverinter and Vera Vinen some breathing room up front. Not a lot in it, mind you, as they head off turn eight and into the third sector. Schlosser and Fries starting to break away now from Sam and Adam Christie and go after Stroyer and Russo, but our focus is on this lead trio who've swapped and changed plenty in the early stages here in Assen and show no signs of easing up. Ben and Tom Birchall absolutely pegged now to the back of Reeves and Wilkes as they come through turns 10 and 11. An unconventional passing place, but the Birchall racing Yamaha absolutely glued to the tarmac and through they go.